traffic cone. You can put a coat on top of a cube, but I want to transition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've just made a cube here. I'm going to S and Z it to compact it. I'm going to go to edit mode, select all, and I'm going to, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to faces. I'm going to click here and I'm going to I to inset that on the keyboard. Just bring that down and then I'm going to select all. Then I'm going to subdivide, right click to subdivide. And what I'll do is I'll make this quite low poly. You'll see the concept though. You could make it a bit more detailed. So I've selected what I've inserted there and right click loop tools. You can inst install it on preferences. It's in Blender. It just needs turning on. And I'm going to go to circle. Okay, so that's made a nice circle. Crank the influence up so it's at 100%. So it looks like a circle. And then I'm going to extrude a bit. And then I'll scale in a bit to give it that little bit of a chamfer with a, a traffic cone and then I'll scale it up and then I'll scale it there as well and you could fiddle around with the proportions um, if you want because the proportions on this are, are not good D don't finish your objects unless they're cartoony you know with really bad proportions it, it just looks terrible you know so always think about the proportions in the real world okay because it's so lazy to do that in my opinion you may disagree so use a photograph as a reference or something like that you know so SZ like that so now we're going to now go to the the circle bits and I'm gonna hold down alt and it, it goes all the way around okay it's a loop can you see that I'll take that to wireframe there and I'll do that again, Alt, and it goes all the way around. So when we start, if we made this more complex, now we've got a nice topology that we were able to, you know. So I'm holding down Alt, it's going all the way around with the faces the other direction. And then I'm going to do this one with edges, and I could say GG and move it in and out. If we subdivide it, you can see that it's subdividing nicely. It's not subdividing nicely on the top, of course. Why? Because it's not a quad fill, you see? It's just a cross. So luckily, we can get away with just having it hollow, because I think cones are hollow. And we, what we can do is we can add a subdivision to get the nice sub D on it. And then what we can do is we can add a solidify. Where's, I always forget where the stupid ones are. Oh, it's there solidify. And you can make it a little bit solid. And then you can make it smooth. Like so, all right. Um, the fact that it was covered at the bottom, we can actually take this off if I want to make the topology oh no that's okay sorry it's just all right and then you could it's quite a nice good topology now and then you could 3d print that out etc etc okay it is a bit bent at the bottom we could rectify that by just getting that okay and i'll just select the whole of the bottom there and make sure it's just the bottom and then S Z S Z one. Oh sorry, S Z zero. That will compact it to zero. Let's have a look at it now. Okay, so there's a good topological cone for your cities. Don't do it. Well, do you can do try it other ways, but this is a good way. Thanks.